and welcome back to our channel. This is Rich and Sarah, learning as we grow. So if you are new to our channel, you know that we love to share about our home and our family and our lifestyle, Disneyland. I mean, there is so much that we love to share on this channel. So really anything that feels creative or that pops into our mind or that we think that you might enjoy, I love to film about it and do a video on it. And today, um, so I've done a lot of home decor videos for fall and I'll link them all above here so you can check them out if you're new to our channel. Um, and I've done a lot of like Ray Dunn fall videos and all that sort of thing. But I, um, I did something kind of different in our family room, like our TV room. I took a Christmas tree this year. It's different for me because I've never done this. I took an artificial Christmas tree that had white lights already preset on it and I decorated it as my fall tree. So it has some Halloween elements to it, but I want to be able to keep it up like through Thanksgiving. So I did lots of oranges and like different colored leaves and all that sort of thing. So you're going to see that right now. So this is new for me. I want to know what you guys think. Have you ever done a fall tree, created a fall tree, seen a fall tree? anything like this let me know what you think of it maybe you love it maybe you hate it and you're like Sarah mm -mm, girl Christmas trees are only for Christmas so I don't care let me know in the comments below I would love to know I'm open to your suggestions and comments and all that sort of thing so I'm gonna show you that and then um, yesterday I had a tea at our house for three of my well two of my very very good friends and then their two moms and then my mom came so we had six ladies here and um, it was just wonderful it was very nice I love to throw tea parties and um, it was an autumn tea and so I have some footage from that I want to show you just kind of the decor that my mom helped me with in our house I had it here at our home and it was just a special time to celebrate everyone that came and to celebrate the month um, you know September and October in the autumn season and to ring in the fall and I would love you to watch that as well and I hope you enjoy today's video and I will see you at the end of our video so here we go Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they enlighten my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? Send a prayer if I'm out of love our first fall home decor video I've done several of them but one of the first ones I did I showed you our living room and that's the room I'm in right now and I've added a few like accent pieces to our living room and so I thought I would just show you real fast um, so one of them is I showed you guys these kind of rustic pumpkins that look almost like they have I don't know what you'd call it like I want to say sticks but maybe it's like twine I don't I don't know Anyway, I got them on sale at Michael's Craft. I think they were like 40% off. And so I just put them over here. So here's like a little sitting area in our living room. And I'm sorry the light is not great. Um, I put them over here and um, I threw some leaves right here around this little stained glass lamp. And then I just have some pictures. This is Rich and myself. This is our engagement photo. And that's me and my grandma when I was a little girl. And then this is actually from the Dollar Tree, you guys. This little autumn greetings. I just think it's cute. And here's that pumpkin I was talking about. And I don't know what it is, but it has this like Cinderella effect to me. <laughs> and it just makes the room look so, I don't know, sparkly. And I just kind of love it. Okay. And then over here, this is our bookshelf. 
and uh, my mom got this I think at an estate sale she may correct me on here but it's gold um, it's not real gold obviously but anyway so she added so my mom added this here with a picture of Rich and myself and she just said it kind of looked harvesty um, the fruit and stuff and so I don't know I feel like it goes I added some gold accent pieces and then over here this is a totally different setup but this is that pillow I was telling you about that I got at Michael's Crafts and it has a plaid back and here's where I'm getting you know crazy with it you guys in my opinion I added this um, it's kind of a nubby like wool blanket and to me normally that looks Christmassy but I was like you know what we're gonna throw caution to the wind and we're gonna get a little crazy and I feel I don't know I kind of feel like it all might work a little bit in here. What do you guys think? All right, so those are some of my new pieces. I'm gonna show you two more new pieces that I got for the fall season. Okay, so last year I did a little bit of a candy corn, kind of an orange colored twinkle light, and it was beautiful and it had a very pretty glow, but I love the crispness of the white lights against the orange. And then this is a little reading corner for my kids. So something new that I added, which I kind of was scared to because I thought, I always think of plaids as being very Christmassy. And this is actually an old blanket scarf um, of mine. And so I put it on this little red chair and my kids sit here and they have their fall books right here. And I don't know, I kind of like it. It adds a little pop of color. All right, you guys, so next up is this little table that I've showed you. This is in our living room again. And I am obsessed with these candles. This candle I bought at uh, TJ, Ma or no, Marshall's uh, Pumpkin Sugar Soy Blend. And it is by Everyday, L is it Luxa? Everyday Lux, sorry. <laughs> it's amazing, it smells so good. And it's, um, it's pretty to look at. And because it's soy, I feel like it's a little bit better. Okay, my mom picked these up. I don't know where she got them. Um, oh, they're Williams Sonoma. Okay, so they're Williams Sonoma. I think they're like for food, you know? But I don't know, I kind of put them here um, for when people have coffee or whatever. This is kind of like our coffee table. This is our oldest. This is Robbie when he was like not even a year. This is one of his, he was a pumpkin his first Halloween. So I just added some more family photos around it and I think it looks great. And then over here I have my farmhouse hutch that I've talked about and our little spooky pumpkin and then these were a new ad um, too and they're just kind of like a pottery I don't know a pottery ceramic um, pumpkin but I think they're kind of cute and I have them filled with candy and different things when we have oh, get-togethers channel for some time then you know that I like to do like monthly wrap-ups of things that I have loved and that I've enjoyed throughout the month so this is kind of a September wrap-up like a fall wrap-up sort of thing let me show you what I'm loving this month all right so first of all these are like swizzle sticks do you guys see that this is from uh, home goods and it's honey and it's like can you guys see it's honey and it's like a spoon and you just put it in your tea and you can swizzle it around and your tea has honey in it like magically so I think I call them swizzle sticks I don't know if that's what they're actually called but you can get it at home goods they also have them in like caramel flavor and um, I think it's like a vanilla bean and different coffee you know for your coffee different flavors for your coffee as well so this is one of my new favorite things 
Okay, my next favorite thing is actually a gift that I received uh, yesterday at the tea that I had by one of my friend's moms, my good friend's mom, um, Lisa. And so she gave me this from Trader Joe's. Now you all know that I am a huge Trader Joe's fan. You guys can check out some of our other like Trader Joe's hauls up here. But this smells so divine, you guys. Like, I want to eat this. It smells so good. It is apple cider scent foaming hand soap by Trader Joe's. You can get it there. It it's just beautiful. It's everything in fall that I love. Like it's you gotta get this. You gotta check this out. Okay, so next, I'm this is like super cute, and I'm hoping that the Marshalls near you has this. But this is a happy fall llama mug, and it comes, it's like a travel mug. You can use it not as a travel mug, or you can put the little sippy cup top and it becomes a travel mug. And again, if you have followed us for any length of time, you know, or if you're new, I'm gonna tell you that I am a huge llama and alpaca fan. I don't know why they speak to me with those beautiful, like, big eyes, and they're, I just, I love them. Like, look at this face. Can you resist the, tell me right now, can you resist this face? And it's wearing glasses, and it has on a fall scarf, and like, I just love it. Happy Fall Llama Mug, and it's so cute. It makes me so happy, you guys, to have different mugs for my coffee and my tea that I feel like, I don't know, it's just like the little, the simple pleasures of life. So this, I think I picked up, it was like $4.99 at TJ Maxx, and this was just the other day that I picked it up, so it's probably still there. All right, and this is another TJ product, another Trader Joe's product for you. This is a Trader Joe's Honey Crisp Apple Scented Candle. You all, look at this. I wish that we had smell-o-vision right now because, like literally when I open it up, I can smell almost like I'm having a candy apple. Like that's what it smelled like to me. I just got it yesterday from my same friend, from my friend Natalie's mom, Lisa, um, and she gave this to me with the soap and it's like such a cute little gift that I'm gonna go back and get more. And yeah, honey crisp apple scented candle made with a natural soy wax blend, which is really good, um, and it's lead free with a cotton wick. So. Again, I'm putting this up to you like you can smell it, but oh my goodness, you guys go out to Trader Joe's right now and get this and make your home smell beautiful like fall. Ah, you're gonna love it. So what would a vlog about tea parties be without sharing two of my favorite teas from the month of September that will last me through October, November, and probably straight on into Christmas? I don't know, but I gotta share with you the two teas that I served today that were a big hit. Okay, so there is this tea that I loved. It's a vanilla chai black tea. It is not caffeine free, but it has vanilla and it's like sweet and spicy at the same time. And I did put a little thing of sugar, like a sugar cube in it with a little bit of half and half cream. And it was just like having a vanilla chai at home. I don't know how to explain it, but usually when I make like chai teas at home, it doesn't quite taste right to me. And this was just as good as Starbucks or Coffee Bean or anywhere else. I'm gonna be honest, I think even if you added a little bit of pumpkin spice to it, it would taste like a pumpkin spice chai tea latte, which I will probably try tomorrow for breakfast. But I wanted to introduce this to you. This is America's, is it Bigelow? Bigelow Classic? Bigelow? I don't know if I'm saying that right. There you go, that's it. Get it, I got it at Ralph's. It was not expensive. And it will make your mornings and your day just refreshed with the scent and the taste of fall. Check it out. When my aunt found out I was having a tea, she said, you have got to serve this country peach passion tea. She said it's amazing as an iced tea and it's Gore, I mean, I loved it. It's just gorgeous. That's the only word I have for it. It's wonderful. Um, I have to come up with some new adjectives to describe this because it's great. Great, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I did put some, I tried it without sugar and it was wonderful. You really don't need sugar. It has such a sweet crispness to it. But I, I love sugar in my tea and a little bit of cream and I put sugar and cream and it was seriously like having a peach cobbler. So get this as well. Get yourself a cute, fancy little mug with some tea and enjoy your fall season. And tomorrow, well today when you see this, it will be October 1st, you guys. And what is a world without Octobers, right? I mean, it's just, you have to have October. I think it's in the book Anne of Green Gables and also in the movie where she shares, where Anne says, Anne with an E, mind you, shares that she's so glad she lives in a world with Octobers, and I am as well. So happy October 1st, happy fall, happy autumn. We hope that you love today's video and that you choose to hit that red subscribe button. Click that notification bell so that you don't miss one of our vlogs. We will be vlogging all sorts of lifestyle, home decor, fall, Disneyland, everyday life vlog, and I don't think you'll wanna miss it. So. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye. You said night.